Hey, <clears throat> fellow agents, this is Agent Smith, and we are playing Legion Larry 6, Shape Up or Slip Out. So, I'm 90% sure at this point all of the stuff we have is everything we're going to need to deal with, uh, to deal with uh, Gammy, the lady at the front desk. Now, there was one thing that I noticed before, before I go any further and start talking to her, is to check out, for one, we got to fix the machine. I'm going to take a look around at a few things for that, but I remember on the beach they said there was something in the sand. And although it said we got to dig for it, I'm going to fiddle around out here for a moment and see if I can find whatever it was that we saw in the sand. Because it tells you that, but then I'm not able to do anything with it. Watch. Hmm. Is there something sticking out of the sand over there? Like that. So, pick you up. Poke around. Nope. Hmm. Is there... While there's plenty to do... While there's... There it goes. Got it in the area, somewhere around here. Since nobody's watching, I could build a sand castle. Right here. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's this? While your sand castle will win no prizes, your diggings have revealed an ancient whale oil lamp buried in the sand. There we go. I remember I this. I've had this before. Before anyone sees how dorky it looks. A big old hole in the ground. Ain't nothing wrong with playing in the sand, man. Jeez. All right. So anyway, let's go ahead. I have an idea if it would be something that might work to strap it. Uh, the uh, rubber hose. The um, the gymnasium had. I think I can go through here. Yeah. The gym had a um one of them. Shake belt things, which is here. This, and I have a feeling that I could take this and tie off that tube. It's almost the same color too. You so remove the wide rubber yep. belt from the Super Cellulite Bun Shaker 600. So with that combined with the oil and all the other stuff I have, we should be damn near finished messing with everything in here. Now I think I've done this before, but I don't think I've ever actually completed everything for her. I do recall her being difficult to deal with. And in the respect that there's a lot of, like, steps that have to be done for this one. I mean, we pretty much had to get half of the stuff in the game just to get this. You make you think she was the last girl that we needed, huh? She's not. I've definitely gotten past her before. I'm trying to... I just don't recall what else I needed. But we'll, f we'll find out as we go. We'll go and take care of it as we go. How about that? So, let me go ahead and fix this, fix this machine up real quick. We've already oiled and lubed the um, pistons. So, the only thing we're not left to do, I believe is to probably check that dirty filter they mentioned and check the uh, tie this hose off that one's definitely one of them that one is not going to work and this thing overheated and it said the filter was hmm. disgusting what if i wrap this elastic belt around the hose that should work that ties that off and this i've got a wrench now so with the tools should be able to get in and get the filter Take it to the kitchen, I guess, you and clean it. You cleverly loosen the bolts, holding the filter tank's lid in place with your handy wrench. Hmm. Okay, go. Oh, can I open it? You open the... No, I don't want that. There we go. Yep. The dirty, dirty filter. Ugh. You'd well, take human, anything. Human fat. Yeah, I do take a lot of crap in these games. Figuratively and literally. All right, let's go take this over to the kitchen. We got some sinks and stuff in there, and we should be able to uh, get it all washed up and ready to go. And put that back inside, and with everything, that should be good. That should be enough to get her uh, up and going. She honestly looks perfectly fine, but she needs the liposuction. Uh, let's see. This sink should be good. Let's go ahead and cleanse this off. Good lord, that is really gunky. There you go. It still looks nasty. Okay, the machine will figure it out. There you go. Clean enough, anyway. Perfect. Now let's go put this thing back in, turn it on, and see if it's all good to go. If it is, it's time to finally get Gammy in there. 
You know, she's got the only name I can't quite figure out as a wine name. Maybe she doesn't count. <laughs> Let's pop this filter back in here. And boom. And close this shut. Wrench it shut. That should be it. You tighten down the lid. Yep. Bolt, filter, hose. I don't think there's anything else. Let's go turn this thing on or we're going to either die or it's going to be perfect. Fine. One more thing to mess with here, I'm sure. Is this the moment you've been waiting for? Looks like it. Pumping. This isn't overheating. This hose isn't doing nothing. There we go. Dr. Swinebutt's mighty cellulite drainage machine appears to be in perfect working order once again. Congratulations, Larry. Look at them cupcakes now jiggle. You're ready for Gammy. Yes, yes, we are. Alright, let's turn it off. We don't need to leave that on. Alright, let's go talk to Gammy real quick. So did you do it, Larry? Yes, yes, we did. Did you fix the cellulite drainage salon? Mm-hmm. I sure did, Gammy. I told you I would, and I did. Would you like to be my first victim, um, sucker, uh, and patient? Patient. Patient is what he meant. Would I? Follow me, bub. <laughs> and this is what I was talking about. She's, uh, she needs, she never got the liposuction finished. Although, in my opinion, she still Whoa, looks damn baby. fine. Welcome to Cellulite City. I'll be right behind you, Gammy. Hell yeah. Assuming I can take it. I don't know why he's complaining because I got no issue with that. Yes. Swiggity, swoogity. Look at that booty. <laughs> Oh, don't go in there. What does she have that I don't have? A vagina. I can think of at least two things. Hi, Gammy. I'm so glad you could come. Well, she's gonna try to anyway. <laughs> I'd be glad too. Alrighty. She ain't even that big though. They overdo this. Uh, actually. Let's hook all this stuff up to her body. Okay, Gammy. Here we go. Lie very still while I stick this in. <laughs> Your thighs. No. Oh. I knew that. <laughs> so he could have happily had her. All right, Gammy. Here we go. I hope I got everything fixed. For your sake, I hope so, too. Okay. Now, this may take a while, Gammy. No, oh, I don't mind, Larry. I've waited so long for this moment. So she's been working I here for this moment. I can't tell you how strong my feelings are for you right now. You're such a wonderful man doing all this for little old me. Whatever it takes. But could I ask you one teeny weeny little tiny favor? Could yes. you bring me a fresh orange? The sound of this machine has made me want to suck on something too. Oh, I... <sighs> That's a sigh, not Don't a cold, whatever. Don't think about it, Larry. Dang it. Why are you keeping me down? Is this thing gonna start? You gonna give me back my power? There it goes. And it's doing its job. Alright, I already got a, an orange. I've had this thing for a while. I don't know how fresh it is. But here you go. Oh, why thank you, darling. You certainly know how to treat a woman. Oh, but please don't stop what you're doing. I can just feel myself getting thinner and thinner, and I love it. <laughs> I hope you'll remember all the trouble I went to when we're all done. You yeah, quite a bit. Just forget about me, will you, Gammy? 
Yeah, she probably will. No, don't you worry, Larry, my boy. You'll taste pleasures far sweeter than this orange. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. She ain't gonna be doing nothing for a while with that much cellulite suction going on. Sit there and stare at her while she eats this orange. Kind of weird. <laughs> she doing all right? Come on, Gammy. That's enough for one session. You've lost at least 16 inches. What do you say? No way. I'm no quitter. I want to have a girlish figure for once in my life. Yeah, but you kind of want to do Just it safely. Keep right on sucking, boy. <laughs> Remember, turnabout is fair play. If I suck her, she sucks huh? me. Is there enough. anything I can do for you? Oh, I sure could use a cool cloth for my fevered brow. In fact, I promise I'll make you a happy man if I live through this. Yeah, exactly. Well, I have a cloth, but I don't think it's a cool cloth. Uh, let me see this one right here. Here, Gammy. Let me put this dry washcloth on your head. <sighs> what are you, nuts? What good will a plain old dry washcloth do my rapidly rising fever? It'll absorb your sweat. All right, let me go chill it out for you. All right, I'm going to head over to the kitchen. We'll take this washcloth here. Now that we're in this place, we're going to run it through the sink. There you go. There, it's soaking wet. And we'll take it. About the only thing. Oh, I already got it. Okay. And then we'll throw this into the freezer for a little bit. And I'm going to take a quick lap, and we'll come back and get that for her. Okay, so I took a quick lap around the east wing of this uh, hotel. And now let's come back and see if this is cold enough. Your washcloth is now nice and cold. How refreshing. All right, now let's hurry up and get it to her. Cool now. Oh, she's losing a little bit of weight there. On her hips. Let's give her this cloth. Hopefully it's cold enough for her. Here you go, Gammy. Oh, Larry. Just place it there on my forehead. There you go. Ah, oh, That feels so nice, Larry. <laughs> I'm getting all soft and fuzzy inside. It's gonna be a toothpick by the time this is done. Well, that does cool my temperature somewhat. But now I think what I really want is a nice bottle of mineral water. I'm gonna find that. Oh, you'd do that for me, wouldn't you, Larry Honey Bunny? I'll make you one happy man when you do. Believe you me. Looks like she already done, but all right. Let me go see if I can find some water. Oh, Larry, honey, don't forget my mineral water. I'm so dry. You sucked out all the fat in her. I'll take a walk up and down the corridors and see if I can find something. Oh, there we go. Found ourselves a tray of stuff, but I'm sure there's Amidst water on the this. Amidst the leftovers of someone's recent meal, you find a brand new unopened bottle of mineral water. Well, pick that up. I was circling around the whole uh, casino and or the hotel and found this on the east the side. Of mineral water from the tray, never knowing when you'll have a use for something without substance that's tasteless and overpriced. Like PC games sometimes. All right, let's head back to her and give the mineral water. This should be all we need, hopefully. Can't think of anything else I could possibly find for her. All right, lady, we are back. We got what you needed. Here's some mineral water for you. You're gonna be a skeleton by the time you get off that thing. I right. brought your mineral water, Gammy, and I think you'd better check out your new body. You look wonderful. Dangerous. Hey, it's about time you showed up with it. I feel like my eyeballs are about to be sucked into my body. Turn this thing off. Yeah, gladly. Oh, yeah. That kind of works. You're she still so looks disproportionate. Svelte. <laughs> yeah. Golly, old Doc Swinebutt really knew his business, didn't he? Didn't take care of the skin, I'm sure. <gasps> My God. Or whatever. Magic of video games. Look at me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, why, I do look wonderful. All my life I've hauled around a rear balcony, and now it's finally gone. <laughs> 
Why would you not want that? This game was definitely made in the 90s. I can't wait to show every single person in La Costalada my new body. But, Gammy, I thought maybe tonight, uh, you know, after I helped you, <laughs> you and I could, uh... I ain't doing nothing oh, for you, man. Sir. You're so idealistic. Why would anyone who looks as good as I have anything to do with anyone who pff, looks like you? <laughs> what a bitch. Oh. Now that I can have any man I want, I... Wait, Gammy, stop! <sighs> It's already Too late, Larry. Larry. She's gone. Gonna screw everybody in this place. Save. Just because it says so. And I think I'll go ahead and in the episode. Oh, wait, actually. Just a second. We got to get some of this fat before I do anything. I bet my oil lamp is definitely empty. The old whale oil lamp's wick is still usable. But there's nothing else there. Which may not be the case with you, Larry. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and use it on this pump and get ourselves some whale oil or some human oil. Good idea, Larry. It's a well-known fact that early settlers of the Old West often substituted cellulite when they ran out of whale oil. Of course, of course. At least that's what Freddie Farkas, frontier pharmacist, told me. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> I wonder if that's I in, told the, in you the manual. So. She's just not good enough for you, my little manhandler. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Alrighty. I'll go ahead and end this one here. I hope that you guys are enjoying this, and if you are, give it a thumbs up. Um, the last thing I can think of that we could possibly do is to fiddle around with a uh, dumbwaiter. We were trying to do before. Uh, by going up, uh, make sure that we have all of our stuff good. Because I remember, if I remember correctly, the last girl wants everything to be perfect. So ice for our champagne. We may leave everything that we've collected so far as jewels and things that we need for her. Flowers, words of, of, of love, and so on and so forth. So, we will work on that in the next episode. And I hope that you guys have been enjoying this. If you have, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Hey fellow Asians, don't forget to like and subscribe by clicking the button in the center of the screen. You can also find the last video by clicking the button to the left, and you can take a look at some of the other stuff I've done by clicking the button to the right. Hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.